Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Gears to Glory. Today, I just got my hands on one of these, the Logitech G920. And I thought, hey, this might be a good time to talk about and open up a discussion around whether it's worth you spending your money on one of these in 2023. So let's get into it. A quick talk, discussion, review, and then we're gonna get in and toss it around and see whether it's worth you spending your money. The Logitech G920 in 2023. Okay, so welcome. Um, and I just thought I'd just open up this discussion um, and I just want to talk about this, the Logitech G920. And I just got my hands on one of these. Funny enough, I just had one of these um, for about a year. Um, I spent about a year with one of these and it was probably one of the best years of my life, to be honest. I haven't been able to get my hands on a direct drive wheel yet. That's probably coming up in the future. But for now, I just thought, you know what? How about if you're a person who's starting out and you're setting up your sim race and you don't have a rig like I, I'm still racing on my desk um, but is it something that's worth you picking up or maybe you've got a sim rig but you're just starting out or you're you're wondering whether it's you making the investment in one of these big um, you know the, the really powerful direct drive wheels um, but if you don't have that kind of money and you're still starting out is really worth is is spending your money on something like this you know um, still worth it in this day and age and to be honest I think it's a very frank discussion to to open up because there's a lot of changes that are happening in the market um, so many I, I see the prices of, of the the director of rules is coming down and there's so many new players coming into the market I see Camus has just released a new director of wheel as well um, the Logitech G Pro uh, the big brother to this to this um, to this 920 the 923 just came out as well so is, is it really worth you buying? Now I'm looking at this now and the retail price of this, I'm in Australia and the retail price of the G920 and the G29 if you're on Xbox is the G920 and the G29 for the PlayStation players which is that one over there. Um, it retails for about $550. Now that's quite a ton of money. And I think for this, I know the the um, Fanatec is the direct, the Fanatec uh, CSLDD is also dropping in price, but this is still coming out a lot cheaper in my opinion. Um, and to be honest, if you go on the second hand market, whether you go on Amazon or you go on eBay or wherever it is that you you can, you can find a lot of these going around for a lot cheaper. So, is is it really worth your money? Bit of a background, I, I've i been using controllers for quite a while. Um, I started off with, um, funny enough, I had a Logitech Wingman, which was a joystick. And I used to race with that joystick in games like GP2, which was like back in the day. And I used to have a ton of fun with that. Then I got the Xbox 360, and on the Xbox 360, I used to use a controller that was like F1 2010, 2011. When I got F1 2012, funny enough, I got a Logitech uh, driving force fx i think that's what it was called which was for the xbox 360. now that thing changed my life now it was not any force feedback kind of wheel now that wheel had some sort of resistance um where if you turn it it would resist your your movements and it, it was it, it, it even though it wasn't a direct drive wheel or, or a force feedback wheel it really changed the way i played my games i mean like i remember having fun for hours playing f1 2012 with that and funny enough that's also the time when forza horizon the first one came out and i i, I used to have so much fun with that with that wheel um and that was my first wheel and then after that i got the xbox one and on the xbox one i never got a wheel funny enough i used to play with the controller um that's the days of f1 2013 going upwards and forza horizon i skipped forza horizon 2 but i played forza horizon 3 quite a lot with the controller and then forza horizon 4. now about a year and a half ago um when i had the series s which is the one i'm using now i got one of these and i'm telling you this thing changed my life now this is not a pro grade kind of equipment but for what it is i think it's worth the money now this is let's just get into a quick review of the logitech g920 this thing is leather stitched and as you can see i think the leather quality on this is absolutely amazing um, and it's got, I mean, it's Xbox layout. This is the Xbox controller. If you've got a PlayStation, it would have been the PlayStation layout. The one thing I don't like is this light. Um, I know a lot of people will complain about it. 
when I'm actually really racing, it doesn't bother me, um, but obviously it is brighter than most. Um, and yeah, it's a really, really cool wheel. This is, this is a gear-driven system. Um, and I know you might have heard a lot about the gear-driven system in this. It is as loud as you say it is. Okay, this is not a quiet system. Um, and, but for what you get though, it gives you a different kind of feeling to what you get when you use a controller. And I'll be doing a bit of gameplay with this today. And you, you will really see as, you, as, you, as you, you start experiencing this that it's a completely different experience to just driving with a, with a controller. And I mean, when I got one of these, um, funny enough, you know, I, I've got a lot of my family, um, you know, normally don't play racing games, but when one of these is in the house, you know, everybody just runs to it and then they start playing games in it, which is really, really cool to see. This thing just transforms the way you do your gaming. And also if you're into like um, casual gaming, if you're into, um, like your forces and everything it really changes the way you play your games so I would really highly recommend one of these now this one comes with obviously it's it's about 550 retail price but um I mean you can get these things for much much less I think you have from like for like 200 300 dollars AUD um, and it comes with the wheel and the pedals the pedals are obviously uh, well documented so you'll find lots of people talking about these they come with a cluster brake and the accelerator uh, which are really awesome. If ever you get the G29 or the G920, I did this with my previous one. I would highly recommend you get one of those brake mods um, because the, the brake on this is, is a very funny one. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, got, it's got a spring and the spring is not progressive. It's just a, just a flat spring and it's just a linear spring. And then um, it's got a rubber at the bottom. When you open it up, you'll see it or you can actually just YouTube it. A lot of guys have talked about this. Um, and then what happens is you get this very free travel to about 50% and then it just stops. And from then on you have to apply force. Now that's where they were trying to mimic obviously what um, kind of like a load cell would do. Um, and yeah, that system just, it just doesn't work to be honest. It, it's a struggle to get the hang off. Um, I also got the G923 and they changed the system in that which is really cool. Um, but you can get brake mods to change this thing, it's quite easy to do. And actually, um, and I'll be talking about this later when I, on my 923, I'm actually going to change um, some of the, the pedals as well. It's worth, it's worth changing it up if you can get, and again you can go onto Amazon and stuff, they've got lots of brake mods for this thing. And that's a really cool thing about these wheels by the way, is, is there's a lot of aftermarket um, equipment for this because these wheels are so popular that a lot of people have got them um, and because of that a lot of people have made lots of mods for them which you can just pick up I mean I know a lot of guys look like GT kind of wheels for this Formula One kind of wheels for this where they swap them out um, so the second-hand market for this is great um, so if ever you actually buy one and you want to dispose of it I'm sure you can easily dispose of it it's got a quite a, quite a strong second-hand market and also the modern community for this is also quite awesome um, so shout out to all of you G29 G920 owners I think this this room is still really great so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take this um, and chuck it into a few games by the way I've also got the shifter here the shifter comes separate it doesn't come shipping with shipped um, exclusively with the with the wheel but um, it's not that price. I mean, it's like what 70 bucks or so um, to get the shifter. It is a flimsy, it is a flimsy shifter. And I understand that this is not. I mean, the, the wheel diameter is much smaller than a lot of your your pro grade wheels, um, and the force feedback is not as strong. I think it's like 2.5 to 3 newton meters of torque. Um, so it's not that strong. But it is strong enough for you to have a ton of fun with it. <laughs> and this is what I'm just trying to prove in this video is that even though this thing is not like pro grade material. It's really something that you can have a lot of fun with. And this is just my opinion. I, I have a ton of fun with these things. So yeah, let me just take you along the ride. We're just gonna hit up a couple of games and yeah, um, let's just take this thing for a spin. And in yeah, the first game, Forza Horizon 5. Makes sense, you got a Simcade setup, you start with a Simcade, right? Um, now I must say, when you start driving one of these things, it transforms your gameplay. If you've been using a controller, just do yourself a favor. If you're thinking about, if you're thinking about getting yourself a wheel um, on a game like this, do it. Just do it. We're in the Chevy Ballet. Oh, paint job looks sick. But again, this is about this. Uh, let's go into the settings quickly. Um, I haven't played around much with this. I think it's picking up some of my settings that I already had. I have played around with it quite a bit before, but. Let's change this into a manual with a clutch because that's what we've got, right? Um, and yeah, send it. <laughs> and immediately, the one thing you can feel, by the way, 
which you can't feel with a controller is like how weighty uh, and the different shifts in weight of different cars like this feels like a heavy car this feels like a heavy car like the, oh <laughs> you can feel that through the wheel it's communicated through the wheel and the force feedback which you don't get like hey, hey, I can feel it I can feel it it's fighting me sorry I needed to yeah, you're fighting me because you want me to change the gears I got you I got you but it's so different it's so different and it's so much fun like between the different cars they feel different you know not just when you see what's on the screen they actually feel very different this car is fighting you to best it's a heavy car um, but yeah you'll enjoy it uh, I've tweaked around with the brake settings as well a little bit such that I don't have to travel so far to get 100% brake because um, especially with my setup if I hit this thing with 100% I'm gonna fly backwards um, it's got a sixth gear <laughs> oh gosh you'll have a lot of fun like I mean whether you're into that kind of like racing scene or you're trying to you know take it on a nice Sunday cruise you know feels good I mean, you can do this and enjoy the scenery and yeah, but when you want to hoon it, hoon it, <laughs> that we all transform your gameplay, it will transform your gameplay, especially in a game like this, pop it on the side, let's go for a race, you'll have a ton of fun, I love this. Uh, Let's see, what can we find? Let's just do one road race. Uh, it's a street race actually, right up ahead. Let's go for that. Okay, so the first couple of gear, gears are cut short. But yeah. Oh, there it is, Mr. Case in point. <laughs> oh, that was not scripted. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, guys, you want the cons of having a system like this? Here's why. The reason just flew off my desk. Okay, this is the manual. Not the flat, so we're not using this um, the system. We're not using the controller. Let's hit a race. Okay, uh, ooh, the Porsche looks nice. Porsche. Let's take this one. <laughs> oh, I love cars, I love cars. And this wheel and um, a game like this, uh, it just scratches that itch, you know, to just, you know, hoon around in cars. That's what this thing is about. Uh, I'm not trying to be competitive, you know, hit the best lap times. This is just a, it's just an arcade game. Just have fun, drive around, have fun. And yeah, for something like that, the setup will really, really just blow your way. Let's go. And those gear shifts. This is like aluminium gear shifts, by the way. The leather feels good in the hand. Steering diameter is okay, uh, not seamish, but I mean, it's not too big, but it's okay for, oh, what are you doing? But it's okay, but it's okay. You can feel the road surfaces and the road changes quite nicely. And again, like I was mentioning earlier, you can feel the, the weight transfer which is something you normally can't feel with a controller. Oh, close call. Close call. <laughs> that guy's got a, this car's actually a proper manual, but I'm driving it. Oh, for those gear shifts. I'm driving it with, uh, with the paddle shifters. I've obviously modified those. They sound so crisp. I'm sweet. 
Oh, that guy's catching up. So if you're into this kind of thing, um, do yourself a favor. Get yourself a wheel. The one thing we haven't mentioned, obviously, is is this versus um, like gear driven versus belt driven wheels. I understand the belt driven wheels are, you know, a lot quieter and a bit stronger. So if you can afford those, like the Thrustmaster ones, then definitely go for it. Um, I think they're really awesome wheels. But if not, and you see one of these things on the market for quite cheap, or if there's a special or something like that, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Get one of these things, transform your life. Boom shakalaka. What a race, what a wheel. It'll change the way you do your gaming. So yeah, that's Forza Horizon 5 gameplay. Let's hit you up for the next one. Next game is F123. Let's take this baby here for a spin. Uh, Gear Shift was back on deck. And yeah, try to make sure it doesn't slip again. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's see how this goes. We're doing Austria um, this weekend, some right now. And good track to feel the forces coming through the wheel. And I must say, like, this experience in Formula 1 for me has changed ever since I started using the wheel. Um, it is a G923, it is gear driven. Um, I've just turned down the vibration just a little bit um, so I don't get too many vibrations coming up as well because it's, it's just noisy and clunky to be honest but like this I just turned down a little bit um, and the forces are still very high the dampers are still very high but it's just that, that grind um, thing is a little bit lower I'll just show you the settings just very very quickly uh, not the point behind this but it's just it's just uh, helps There you go, on track effects are low, on boost effects are low, off track effects are probably, are probably in terms of a little bit low as well. When you do this, you don't feel the, the, the cogs grinding through all the time. You know, it, it just makes it a little bit more bearable uh, when you're playing. Um, and again, I mean, the, the, it's a gear driven system, it's well documented. Um, but can you have fun in it? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's go for a race. Uh, I'm not taking it hard. Um, it's taking it easy here. Oh man, I missed that. F123 is just so much better, but again, I will do that in a different video. I caught that and I felt that, oh, that moment of um, oversteer. Quite confidently caught it. The brakes on this are just not great. By the way, with the with the shifts that I with the changes that I made, um, I also um, just made my braking a little bit softer, so at, at least so I can it can get 100% a little bit quicker. So I don't have to hit that 100% with that rubber stuff on. You know, so it, it just gets 100% a lot quicker basically so i can actually handle it but i feel like i'm not very confident under braking with that rubber stop there i think it's something that maybe if you keep it on you can get used to but for me it's definitely the biggest thing about about using this wheel is i'm not confident under braking oh i could have gone much faster i'm not confident under braking uh what are we doing i'm not using the RS. Yeah, I'm not confident under braking. Thank you very much, I'll use it. Okay, that was a little bit better. The accelerator, I feel. Yeah, I'll, I'll swap it out with the clutch. Feel the forces like this completely transforms the way you play your racing games. Com 
completely transforms it. You'll have so much more fun. And also, um, the one thing I've noticed is that you can play a lot longer races. Like you can hit those hundred percent, fifty percent races, hundred percent races. You know, quite easily because and comfortably as well as compared to trying to hit this thing with your thumb. I mean, I used to get my thumbs getting very, very sore trying to hit the hundred percent races. A shout out to F one twenty eight. Your handling is much, much better. And I'm trying to <laughs> release while I'm talking. Wrong line through there. But anyway, fine. You can hit those 100% races a lot easier. I mean, you can play, play this thing for hours because you're a little bit more relaxed. Um, you're, you're not putting your... It's, it's your, your hands that are moving, not necessarily your thumbs. Yeah, I'm not like the fastest. I don't claim to be. Hopefully this year I'll take my F1 a little bit more seriously. <laughs> but you can have a ton of fun in this. You can really have a ton of fun. Thank you very much. And again, you can feel that all the way through as you step on the accelerator. You know, you can feel that the car's a little bit slippy. You can gauge how much trail, I mean, you can try to trail brake. Getting on the throttle. I think I've got the throttle, I've got traction control and everything off on this. The only assist I have on is the racing line. And I'm still able to control this, like, no joke, I haven't, I haven't been able, I haven't slipped, I haven't, you know, used my rewind. And I can go a lot faster, I've just been, just messing around and I'm talking while I'm driving as well. Um, you'll enjoy this. Forces are good. Nice exit through there. Let's waste this ERS. Looks like there's a bit of a tussle going on up ahead. But yeah, the race is a bit short. But yeah, you'll have a lot of fun with this. The feedback is good enough. You can feel the rumble strips. I turned them down. I think you can hear them a little bit more with the mic closer to those cards. And yeah. So uh, yeah, you'll, you'll definitely enjoy playing F1 in this. It's, it's just a ton of fun. It's a, it's a world away from a controller. Um, is it powerful? Like, I mean, really, are you fighting it so much? No, power is not as much as um, some of the other wheels, but it's a lot of fun. Just turn the, the rumble strips off, turn them down, you know, and it won't make as much noise as, as, as it is. I find the cock sometimes, obviously the reaction sometimes is a bit slow, um, but once you get used to like what is communicating and, and, and what it means, you'll, you'll have fun with this. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Next showcase, WRC. Uh, this is WRC 2010. Uh, I don't play this game very much, but I used to play a lot of rally. Um, I think it was, was it WRC? It was like a Sassel 2000 or something like that that I used to play a lot, and I used to play that on keyboard, funny enough. Um, this is a whole different experience. I've tried this game on the controller, I really don't enjoy it that much, I couldn't control the car. And my lap times were, were I mean, my, my, my sector times were really bad. They still are, because uh, I haven't really practiced that much, but there we go. But it's, it's just such a good game though. And with 
the wheel completely transforms the experience. And I wish I had more time to play a game like this, but honestly, I don't. Because like you have to pick your battles, uh, but this is just this wheel completely transforms the experience. And having this and the shifter. Oh, sorry, I was listening to you. <laughs> Uh, I respawn. Okay, here we go. It's because I'm talking and driving at the same time. Let's focus. <laughs> but you can feel the car shifting around, and you've got a lot more control over it. There you go. Like I feel like I've got a lot more control over the car. Really enjoying the weight of the feeling. If there's anything, it's just that this, I don't feel the road surfaces as much with this wheel. Like just the grayness of, I can feel a little bit of vibration, but not so much. But no complaints. You'll have a ton of fun with this, if you like rallying. Uh, I would suggest you pair with the shifter. I've seen some guys who also have the, um, the handbrake mo mod along with that. <laughs> Nearly perfectly executed. I think with that, if you're into rallying, get a get a handbrake mod for this 920 or 9 or 29. But I mean, even without it, uh, the shift at least is a necessity. I've tried this with the, with the paddle shifters, it's not, it's not the same experience, it is rallying after all. Um, but will you have fun with this? Oh, absolutely. And there's, I mean, that's a really, really bad time that I was talking at the same time, but I don't even pretend to be a, a man, uh, good at this game. But there you go, this is some WRC 2010. Uh, let's move on to the last game that I'm going to showcase with this week. Okay, and this is the last game we're going to showcase with the G920. Um, and surprise, surprise, it's ACC, a set of Corsa Competizioni. Um, apologies to all Italians if I chop that, but yeah, this game is absolutely amazing. Now, I never used to play ACC before, and ever since I got the wheel, I just decided, you know what, let me just try this out. I've heard a lot of people talking about, you know, playing ACC with the wheel. I didn't, I didn't understand until I started playing it. And this game, funny enough, is the game I enjoy the most with the wheel and probably the one that's going to make me upgrade the wheel the most, <laughs> to be honest. This is on a completely different level. Like every other game you played is a Simcade. I mean, you talk about the Forza. I play a lot of Forza Motorsport 7, by the way, as well. And I can't wait for Forza Motorsport. Not 8, just Forza Motorsport. Um, I can't wait for that to be released. Um, I play a lot of Forza Horizon. I play a lot of F1. But this game just changed my mind when it comes to sim racing. This is what I want to get into and spend a lot of time doing. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. And with this wheel, this game comes alive. I've tried it with the controller. Um, I, I couldn't do it. I don't know, some, maybe some of you do and you enjoy it, but yeah, I tried it with the wheel, I couldn't. With the controller, I couldn't. Games like Forza Motorsport and, and Forza Horizon, all those things, you can play with the controller. F123 has just been improved. Um, the controller is much, much better in there, so you can play those with the controller, which is fine. This game, this game is, is, is a proper setting. This is on the Series S, by the way, and they really improved this game. This is, a, this is the newest update. I've got the 2023 Porsche. Let's take it out of Monza. And I'm telling you, this transforms your vision of gaming. Now, ACC doesn't have the best graphics, um, but the gameplay is the physics are just awesome. Okay, cool, let's go. Let's do that on track. And this is where this wheel comes alive for me. Um, and where I really appreciate having something like this. Um, which is its biggest strength, but also um, arguably the biggest weakness is when you start playing a game like this. It just comes alive. 
like I'll just be taking it easy. This is just a practice session. Um, but I've been trying to improve my safety rating, trying to get into those competitive races. I love the online races um, in this game. Online servers are really cool. Um, but yeah, you can feel that as you go around this corner, it's just communicating with you the bumps. Yeah, with this you need to upgrade that brake so you can get a lot more feel out of it. You really need to. It's it's just uh, you need to you need to get that feel in the braking. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean the weight of the car, the shifts, the movements, you can feel that. And when it gets into oversteer, you know oversteer moments and the you can you can feel it through the wheel. It's just communicating so much more than every other game I've ever played on a console and granted there are a lot more PC games are racing uh, or factor that you can play with this thing but obviously but when you get to that to those levels though you shouldn't be using a G920 but this if you're on a console and you want a sim experience? Get a CC. Get a wheel. Oh yeah. And you boot it out of the corner. <laughs> Let's do one more lap. Just gonna do one more lap. This game seriously comes alive. It's insane. Absolutely insane. And especially when you're on the online servers and you've got a lot of competition. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it. And again, no discussion on the game, but all the other games, once you start playing this, you can feel that movement of the car there. We're just being very playful. I love this Porsche. <laughs> I love this Porsche. Boot it. Oh my god, oh my gosh. It was fun for days. Fun for days. Okay, I a little bit too early. Bit a little bit early and a little bit late. But I'm not too late rather. Oh yeah. And that we were fighting through the corner. Yeah. Yeah. And that caps off our reviews of the G920. It's such a phenomenal wheel. You know, such a phenomenal wheel. Should you get it, if you've got a console, if you're just starting off, your, you know, you want to get the feel of this sim racing space, or maybe you're not a sim racer, you're just a casual driver, you like your Forza Horizons, you like your Forza Motorsports, WRC as I showcased, um, another game that I also, that I also try to play a bit, quite a bit, but not really that much is, um, what's the other rally game again? I forgot it now. <laughs> but, yeah, you like your, your, your casual driving. This, this wheel will definitely, definitely suit your needs. And especially if, you've got, if you're like me, where you game on your desk. Um, this is what I do. I don't have a, a whole setup yet. But this just works. You know, after work, swap it out, go for a couple of laps. You know, I'm just taking it easy. Uh, this works. But maybe, um, and the one thing I've noticed is my kids love playing with this. I love playing with the wheel. So, if 
you're not considered as a, as a gift for your children, yeah. It's not over the top that it's no, you know, like over the top expensive. Just an entry level we all to have a lot of fun and moon around it. <laughs> like that. No brainer. G920 all the way. And yeah, so if you're considering it, do it. And guys, if you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe for more content. This is really, really what I do. I like doing this kind of reviews and stuff. But yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me up in the comments what we are you using. Are you a G920, G29 user? Shout out to you guys. Um, how do you find a wheel? I know a lot of guys have complained about it breaking down and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, just leave me in the comments, let me know what your experience is. I've, I've been using these wheels and I absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. Um, but yeah, till the next video, peace out.